Hello everyone and welcome back to Make Your Mind. This is another Hollow Knight video. As you can see, I got the two characters. The new vessel, which is the playable character that you play as. And then I have the character that will be the playable character in the new update for Silk Song, which is Hornet. As you can see, I got this little I got this little piece back here to hold them up so they can be seen in the camera a little better. There we go. If you saw the video that I posted earlier, you may have seen this. This was my idea if I wanted to be in the game of Hollow Knight. This is my own custom figure. It's based on the Emerald Jewel Wasp. It has this mix of a cloak. It's also a sort of pauldron in a way because it only goes on one side. I have these gauntlets. And I also have the powerful stinger which I can use to mind control less intelligent bugs in the game. But I actually had another sort of custom idea, and this is not for a character, but this is actually for a weapon in the game. I had the idea, now the whole point of the Hollow Knight, especially the playable character right here, is that the, the idea is that the character is hollow and is pure and therefore is able to contain the Radiance Infection. Now unlike the broken vessel here, which is obviously has failed in its duties, and has the infection spewing out of it. It would make sense that instead of having a being that would actually contain the Radiance Infection, why not use the Void and have the Nailsmith create a weapon that is crafted from the Void using the Nailsmith that could contain the infection? So I came up with the Hollow Nail. Check that out. Look at this. I got the I got the idea. Basically, like imagine you see here's the here's the shell of a hollow character with hole in the middle. As you can see, it looks like a nail, but it has the sort of void tendrils coming off as a part of the grip. And it actually imagine a nail that actually contains the void inside of it. And then this right here would be the Radiance Infection contained within the nail. Look at that. I don't know if that would be, this would be like a game-breaking idea, but this was just an idea that I had for a weapon that could actually be used to contain the Radiance Infection instead of a person, because a, a, a tool cannot be corrupted, and if it's created, if, if it's created by a Nailsmith from the Void, I think that would just be a really cool idea. Actually, it's a similar idea to what uh, they actually used in Samurai Jack, where they used the magical sword to contain Aku. But imagine if this sword, you pierced it into the Corrupted Knight, which, uh, here, hang on a second, I have that sculpture sitting right over here. Imagine you're fighting the Hollow Knight, and as you're fighting him, as he's weakening himself, Eventually, you pull this nail out, you strike him, and then the Radiance Infection comes out of the Hollow Knight and into the nail. There's a ch it would be really interesting to see if you could do this. This even could be an alternate ending where you actually save the life of the Hollow Knight. Because I know a lot of people, there's a lot of speculation going around, but I mean, this Hollow Knight, it was missing an arm and it was completely corrupted by the Radiance Infection. And. You know, they call these incorruptible beings, but a tool, a tool cannot be corrupted either way. So it was just an interesting idea that I had. And uh, maybe there's a chance that an alternate ending in the game could actually see you saving the Hollow Knight and the Hollow Knight actually becoming a, a, a character in the future. Who knows? This was just one of the many ideas that I had. And like I said, I have absolutely fallen in love with this game. Let me put uh, you to the back. But yeah, that was the idea I had. Imagine this, the hollow nail. That it would be used to actually contain the infection instead of a instead of a being. But I don't know if that was... Maybe Team Cherry had this idea and then said, Nah, maybe that's too lame. I'm not sure, but... Seems to me like this would be a cool idea. But this was just a sort of... I don't know, just a sort of brainstorming and... Just an idea that I had. And uh, that's it for the video. If you like videos like this, go ahead and leave a like down below. And remember to subscribe and allow for all future notifications. 
so you never miss a cool video like this. You know what, while we're at it, let's show off the rest of my Hollow Knight sculptures that I've done. I got a couple more over here. I have one of the first bosses I did. I have Nosk right there. I also have the Mantis Trader right there. I also have one of the three sisters, the Mantis Lords. Let me go ahead and move you guys to the back. There we go. Give room for her because she's very important. And then the last one, which is one of the last knights of all of Hollow Nest, the Dung Defender. <laughs> I love this guy. He's so cool. And then, of course, I've got the Broken Vessel right here. And here, we'll go ahead and put the Hollow Nail idea right there. So there's a little compilation. These are all the characters that I've made so far from Hollow Knight, and I'll be making many more of them to come. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next Sculpture Showcase.